Alrighty guys, welcome to my video. I'll be going over the San Antonio Museum of Art, which I visited Tuesday. It is free day, by the way, and we'll be covering three artists, which are Jose Arba Vera, Kevin Beasley, and John Singer Sargent. The first artist that we will go over is Jose Arba Ibera. The title of this piece is In the Garden, or In el Jardín. It was painted in 1931 with oil on canvas, which is about 135 centimeters tall and 151 centimeters wide, so very large. He painted it when he returned to Spain after living in San Antonio in Mexico from the late 1800s to 1931. As you can see, it is hung in a gold frame with a neutral background and delicate lighting. You are drawn into the mother and child immediately. I, for one, feel their emotion and joy and happiness in their expressions. Them being the focal point of the painting helps translate this emotion. The surroundings are also much brighter, helping with that as well. The next artist is Kevin Beasley. He made this sculpture called If It Was Standing Alone, It Wouldn't Stand At All in 2017. He made it by dipping house dresses, caftans, t-shirts, and do-rags in resin and quickly forming them in the way he desired. It's an astonishing sculpture, almost standing at 8 feet tall. As soon as I was descending the stairs, I was immediately drawn to this sculpture and its uniqueness. It gives off a sense of darkness or haunting, even with all its bright colors, but it also has a lot of strength. I guess the empty spaces kind of give off a sense of unity, even if there isn't anything obviously in there. In this space, I guess that's where the title comes in. You can't stand if no one is by your side trying to help you too. The last piece we'll be discussing is Elise Wag by John Singer Sargent, made in 1893, with oil on top of canvas, the, the dimensions being 40 by 27 inches. The most intriguing aspect of this painting to me was Elise's dress. The material of her dress is so silky, it looks soft enough to touch. Then again, it is a realism painting, so that's what John was going for, I assume. I love the way the highlights are placed to achieve this look. The shadows and the highlights work so perfectly together and placed in just strategic places in the dress that create this special depth and texture that you would hope to see if you were to see Elise in person. Alright guys, well thanks for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it!